Hello everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. If you want to skip the intro, there is a timestamp below in the description box. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here are general, meaning that they're not going to resonate every time. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, then there's most likely going to be something in the message. I like to say you're going to know if the message is for you because you're going to feel it. It's going to hit you in your gut, usually. If the message does resonate, there will be a link below for the extended version. There's also information down there for energy cleanse kits, personal readings, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings, as well as the tarot course that I've created for those of you that want to learn how to read tarot cards. It's all linked below in the description box. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So Leo, in this message we were seeing how you were feeling lighter coming into 2022 because you were finally letting go of pain and indecision from your past. I also felt like things were moving forward in career for you very beautifully. Um, and so because of that, you were going to start feeling more stable start feeling more secure things will start feeling lighter as you move into the new year because you feel like you're on the right path and you are let's dive into the message here leo so this message will be leo's guidance message for 2022 and in this message, Leo, we will tap into the energy surrounding you coming into the new year. We're going to look into the biggest challenge for you this year. We'll see how to release this energy. We'll see what's coming into your love life briefly and any messages from your guides specifically. I'll clarify throughout as well as pull a few cards for advice from spirit. If it's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Let's see what we can see for your upcoming energy for 2022, please and thank you. Most important message here for Leo Spirit. What does Leo need to see? So, Leo, I feel here, Leo, there's something that you've been holding on to from the past that has also been holding you back for some time. And I feel here that for 2022 and moving into the beginning phase of this year, this energy is going to start shifting. Okay. Now we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute. I also want to tap into the wheel of fortune energy real quick this is a wish fulfillment card okay this also you can make a wish when this card is present in a reading um it symbolizes fate it symbolizes destiny i do feel here leo coming into 2022 you are going to be moving into a more stable position feeling a lot more stable, secure about where it is that you're headed in your life in general, more specifically when it comes to career. Okay. Love life is going to be a little shaky, but we're going to clarify that all of this energy here in a minute, we're going to start with this four of pentacles energy. This is the energy surrounding you coming into the new year. 
So let's clarify. Four of Pentacles energy for Leo Spirit. I feel like this card here, Leo, is what you've been holding on to that's about to be released. This has been something that you have gone through in the past that was very difficult, that was very intense, okay? And death paired with the two of pentacles in reverse, clarifying, okay? So this was a situation that you've had to work letting go of, okay? You've had to work through this energy for some time. It's finally coming to an end. The chapter is finally closing. And this may not necessarily mean anything significant to you. You may think, oh, well, this ended a long time ago. You're right. Except for it took you a while to release this energy. What I feel is this is symbolizing Leo is feeling lighter coming into the new year. Okay, starting to feel lighter, starting to feel, again, more in a position in your life where you feel stable, you feel solid and secure. Okay. Now, something that will shift, something that will change. I feel here this is referring to letting go of this energy. And we see here this is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles, the Temperance, the Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to start turning in your favor. Things are going to start, again, feeling lighter, more imbalanced. I feel here, maybe in the past, you kind of felt really scattered in your energy because you didn't have maybe a plan or knowing what you wanted to do. And with the three of wands coming out, queen of swords, these are our, all cards, Leo, that are symbolizing looking at the future clearly. Now I want to jump over to the position in what's to come for your love life. Okay, five of staffs. This is an energy of competing, competition. Now, this could be you competing for somebody's time and attention. This could be somebody competing for your time and attention. Let's clarify this Five of Staffs energy for what's to come in Leo's love life. So we have the eight of staffs with the star energy. I feel here, Leo, there's just a lot of scattered energy when it comes to relationships for you. There may be several people that have your attention or one person that you have your sight set on, but this person isn't necessarily coming towards you. What I feel here is going to start happening, Leo, is you're going to start putting yourself first. You're going to start feeling more stable, more secure because you're putting yourself first. You're trusting your intuition, moving forward in a very balanced manner. A lot of these cards coming out here symbolize stability. They symbolize balance, a firm foundation. Okay, there's definitely a healing vibe coming out to this reading. It's very beautiful. So messages from your guides, Leo, three of staffs. This is the planning card, but this also talks about taking action on that plan. And there has been something here, Leo, that's shifted in your life where, and I feel like this has to do with career. There's something in your life that has shifted when it comes to your career, your finances that have, has made you feel like, okay, I'm in the right position. Let's clarify the three of wands for Leo's energy. Mm -hmm. What I feel here, Leo, when you start shifting your perspective when it comes to money, you also will start shifting your perspective when it comes to relationships. And that will be a beautiful thing, okay? The message here is nose to the grindstone. Stick to the plan, okay? Um, you're on the right path. You're headed in the right direction. I feel like this is the beginning phases of this shift. So things are in the beginning phases of stabilizing. As you move through this year, things are going to start feeling lighter. 
you're gonna start seeing things align a lot quicker for you because of the energy surrounding you. Now Leo, Three of Swords energy. This is betrayal, this is loss. This is something that shattered your heart, okay? A lot of times this is surrounding an ending of a relationship. This is in the position of how to enhance your connection, how to enhance your gift, okay? What I feel like this is calling to is having an understanding that a lot of times in those moments when we are at our lowest points in our lives, it's an opportunity for us to see the world from a different perspective. A lot of times that's an ending of a situation that we're holding on to, but it's not really serving our higher good. It's not helping our highest soul growth. I feel here, Leo, this difficult situation, this betrayal, this loss that you've experienced, even though it was difficult in the moment, you're coming to an understanding of everything happens for a reason. And it, the more you come to this understanding that this loss, this experience that you've experienced helped open you up to new opportunities, new insights, new perspectives, the lighter you're going to feel. Again, this is an energy moving into 2022 of release, okay? Now trust the process here, Leo, because you may feel heavy. But some of you may already be able to feel this lightness to your step, to your energy. You're coming into a more stable position. Have the understanding, Leo. You are on the right path, okay? What will come moving forward? Queen of Swords. This is that clarity. This is that vision of look, being able to look back and have that understanding. Okay, accepting that everything happens for a reason and being able to move forward. Okay, it's a beautiful energy. A lot of you have gone through something very difficult this past year. And it's taken some time to release. Some of you, this could have even happened prior to this last year. But have an understanding, Leo. Whatever loss that you experienced, whatever painful situation that you've been holding on to, you've learned a lot from that experience. Now it's time to take those lessons and move forward. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If you found the messages helpful, resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all amazing going to do an extended version to the reading if that's something you're interested in the links will all be below in the description box so leo queen of pentacles five of cups in the reverse with the six of pentacles this is your advice guidance moving forward so leo your advice guidance moving forward here for the upcoming energy annual message moving into 2022 focus on your stability focus on the balance and keeping life in balance or finding that happy medium okay work home work, play, balance, okay? Find things that make you feel happy within your own right, with or without another person, and focus on that. As you're moving into the new year, you're going to start focusing less on the pain from the past and focusing more on the developing future. That's exactly how I see this reading come out. 
there's not really much that you're going to need to do except for to stay on the path, continue on the path that you're already on, okay? What I feel here, Leo, is there is some shifts that are going to happen. But as you're feeling more stable in home, in career, that's when your love life is going to start developing. For those of you that are single, for those of you that are in a relationship, already in a commitment, as your career life starts balancing out, your home life is going to start balancing out as well. Okay, so trust the process here. Again, focus on the path, focus on the stability. There's not much you're going to need to do. Just keep doing what you're already doing because I feel like things are already in motion. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune is the Fate card. It, came, it was the second card out of the deck. So Leo, your soul truth message here is what am I most afraid of losing? As we grow, change, and transform our lives, it requires us to let go of something that was to make room for what will be. If you were to take the big leap today, what would you feel scared of losing? Love, safety, or belonging? What if it was a big fat lie? What if it was impossible to lose any of those things because you have the power to give everything you need to yourself? Today's soul action Name that fear and look at the worst case scenario. Find a solution. Take your power back by being certain of who you are and where you are going. Today's mantra, I move forward knowing I am powerful beyond measure. I am loved, I am safe, and I belong. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Leo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.